So this video is sponsored by the Slowpoke World merch store. So much time has gone into these designs. Go check them out. We've got ourselves a Turnus looking one. We've got some good artwork. And we've got ourselves some Slowpoke World merch. If you want to look swaggy cool and support the channel, then you know, go check it out. Link in the description. Really appreciate it. If you do end up buying something, send me a picture and you get featured in a video. I think these designs are all hella smart. I can't wait for my samples to get here. So yeah, go check them out. I think you'll love them. I love them and I think you will. All right, welcome guys to the Slowpoke Well, I was actually meant to open these packs yesterday, but I was playing basketball all day, and by the time I get in, I instantly just like flat out went to sleep. So here we are, bright and early. Get involved. 42 um, locked packs to open. Normally, they don't open packs. I just trade for what I want. But when they're locked, you've got no reason not to open them. So here we go. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of new cards. Whoop. Not the best of starts. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've already traded for Eternatus's, Eternati, Crobat times four. That that pit, that's that. I don't know why that's a hollow man. That was a white code. Oh my lord. So yeah, I got Crobat's, got Salamance, got Center Scorch, got uh, Vicavolt. So I think I've got all the decks I actually want to play. And I've got like the off decks as well, like Toxicity Mill. So. Oh, okay, so that's two white codes in a row that are both rubbish. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just looking for, you know, rarity stuff now, I guess. And then I can um, bump the ones that I don't need away. And then, you know, just have some fun with it, really. Whoop. Okay, so, so far, I haven't really... Oh, I've got all my trainers that I need as well. So, um, you know, at that point, it's uh, literally, it's just a bit of fun, really. Whoop. Hey, that's actually really cool. Gold capture energy. Um, now that means I can have that one gold capture energy in Phalanx. <laughs> but um, kind of need a few more for that to be pretty cool. But you know what? Can't complain. That is a secret rare. It's a playable secret rare as well. So you know what? I really actually can't complain. Jay needs to shut up. <laughs> I guess I really want like um, Eternatus V Max. I actually need one more Eternatus V Max to be fair because I only traded for three. Um, and I actually think about it, I should probably get a fourth. So that's what we're really after. That wiggly stuff has the best artwork ever, though. Don't at me. Absolutely amazing. But let's roll him. We've got a rose in that pack as well, to be fair. That's not too bad. After this, I'm actually going to go to the gym, get a workout in. After that, I can chill for the rest of the day. So I just got an area, though. So I didn't actually pick up any of them. That's not too bad. An old PC. And a cling clang. I just 200, right? If you don't have any cling, this does there's nothing. Nah, I'm not feeling that. It's too hard of a condition to fulfill. We've seen that attack before in a Renucleus, I believe. And it's for a lot less energy too. What are you doing? Triple poison. Okay. Talon flame. Has Talon Flame actually ever had a good card? Oh no, the Steam Siege one came second at Rising Good Ninja, right? So I tell a lie. Ooh. So we've got three hollows. <laughs> what does this do? Someone said they were playing, someone was playing this in uh, ADP um, to counter Decidui. A raw elite, 130. Doesn't one shot. Okay, no, it does have to GX. Okay, put two. Let me just this Pokemon back into your hand. Huh. I mean, I guess it would work as a Decidui answer for sure. Um, I prefer a dual loon now. I've got a Piers and a Power Frenchie. This actually be a really good pack. Let's see if we get something cool out of it. Hey, that's probably our best pack so far. Uh, all things considered, because we've got a Piers, we've got a Powerful Energy, and we've got an Ultra Rare, Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, that will be a fun uh, mess about deck for sure. <sighs> Excuse me. So I think I'll probably use this video as a little bonus video and get some deck profiles out today. Wow, reverse Piers and Rose Tower. So all of a sudden, the packs are getting really playable. What is the rare going to be? Woo! I wasn't even looking at the screen. I was looking at you. Okay, so this is now our best pack so far. Rose Tower, Reverse Piers, and the Salamans V. Okay. Unfortunately, I've got all that stuff already, though. <laughs> so I've got one the Salamans V that we can uh, trade away. Oh, I forgot to get Heat Fire Energy. So that's one thing. We've got a double pack, apparently. Reverse Decidueye. Okay, I think I've got them already. Is that a hollow? No. Okay, so why does it give us... Oh, yeah, because I guess it was a rare anyway. So you got to, you know, give it the drum roll. 
you remember does anyone oh got a we got a turbo patch and a double okay this has potential to be a good pack let's have a look what do you do not very good I built that up for nothing. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a good one. Oh, that clink clang, eh? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to build this one, but I don't think it's going to be very good. Yeah, there's Metric again. <laughs> Reverse Mad Pot is kind of cool, though. So, this. Is, oh, is it a Waste Man pack? No, you've got a Rose in it, so I guess it's not really a Waste Man pack. <laughs> to keep it moving, uh, Sky Circus. Strength. Rock throw. Mac flight. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Right, so I think we've come to about, what, halfway through, I think? Let's have a look. Got an idea. Got double rare pack. Don't know why. That's a rare. Oh, boy. Okay. Excuse me. So this is our first waste man pack, I think. This, look at this. No playable trainers and not really any playable cards. If you want a definition of a waste man pack, it's that one. Now come on, give me an Eternatus V Max. Come on. That's the only thing I actually need need like, I think. Yeah, that's actually gonna be a pretty fun deck to be fair, than it looks. <laughs> that is gonna be a pretty fun deck for sure. Um, we've got a, a Flaffy and a Zwilus Reverse and a Melmet. What's that you do? I haven't seen this card. Uh, one first, one three, four, one first. Uh, how much HP? 150. Meh. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. Okay, so we've got a Spike Mob and a Bird Keeper. So this has the potential to be a good pack. If this is a playable card at the end, this has the potential to be the best pack. <laughs> Why? Out of all the, out of all the cards, out of all the V cards, and there's a lot of them in this set too. You get Salamance twice. Oh dear. Reverse deep speed swell. I'm convinced this card could actually see play. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw eight. That's not bad. Okay, can't really mind about that one. <laughs> I actually would have got my sense to watch. I'm just going to bounce that one for packs. So that's actually not too bad. So the idea is now that anything that I get, I've already got. I can just uh, trade for packs and use those packs to myself another return to speed max. That's the idea. Oh, okay. It's got a Rose Tower. Struggle Gloves. I wish that Lugia was good. If that was for a Twin Energy. That could actually be really good. Uh... <laughs> Vanilla looks okay. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, got reverse dark tricks, got reverse tower straw gloves again. Hey, there's a V card that I didn't actually bother trading for, Viperia. Now, I've seen people dally, dilly dabbling with this stuff in Malamar. Um, anyone watching, by the way, is it worth me putting out videos on this sort of weird format on TCG? It's like Ultra Prism to DAA, or should I just stick to just playing post rotation? They're probably playing post rotation. I'm gonna run into people in a ladder that like aren't playing post rotation. So, you know, uh, let me know, let me just let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, because I see people playing my, my period in Mali. Could be quite fun. Okay, got a double air pack. Here we go. Got to build it up. <laughs> I hate that card. Hey, we got a toxicity. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Risk taker. Flip a coin. If heads discard top five cards of your opponent's deck, if tails got the top five cards of your deck. Scary times, man. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Another double wear pack. Got the reverse Lugia again. I'm gonna heal 20 damage from each wear pack. I thought I said 120, then I was like, yikes. Not quite, though. <laughs> let's have a look. Got a hide energy. Only got one red this time. Hey, it's a Houndoom. I didn't trade for them either. So that's actually pretty cool. Vengeful Plane, 3 for, well, 200 if any of your bench fire types have uh, damage on them. So, with Spike Muff, you can easily fulfill that position, uh, for proposition, condition. Easy for a double wear pack. Galeria Darmata, and that is a whole lot of rubbish. Like that Dracozolt. Oh dear. Now, the other Dracozolt, the one that has the ability, that could actually be something. Man, it's getting hot in here. Woo. 
Ooh. Ooh, that drum roll. Okay, we drum rolled for nothing there, not gonna lie. <laughs> right, let's keep it moving then, keep it moving. Ooh, nothing good so far. This has potential to be a waste man pack that we have got a rose towel, so maybe not. Hey, Hydreigon. I don't think Hydreigon's bad enough to warrant a waste man pack. It's actually a decent car that could see placer. Oh. I mean, I guess it's the white code, but Melotic just ain't the greatest. Let's be honest. God, I need that fan on so bad, but I think the fan... Oh, you got a turbo patch here and a carbo. The fan makes it way too hot. That is a rare. Three for 90. Oh, dear. Another hollow, man. I've got a lot of hollows. Man, I'm not feeding hollows, man. Oh, dear. I hate the fact that hollows share rarity with ultra rares. It's so annoying. Okay, this... Yeah, this is a waste, man. Pack. I mean, holding... Oh, increase my mouth sensitivity back to them. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess hide energy is okay. But it's not good enough to save a waste man pack like that. So that was another waste man pack, unfortunately. Can this pack be a redemption? No. <laughs> uh, we've got a rose there. Rose is good enough to save a waste man pack, unfortunately. At least one of the, definitely on the lower end of things though. But uh, okay, we've got reverse rose tower. Well, come on, be an eternity's V Max. That's not an Eternatus VMAX, is it? Okay, it's fine, no, it's fine. We've got a few more. Cape of Toughness, very good. Galarian Darmanitan, not very good. We've got a Spike Muff in that pack as well, so. Let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Oh, okay, double rare pack, here we go. That's a rare, that, pff, as if that's a rare. Were any of the Night Marchers rares? They were, were they? So they, <laughs> so they make a night march. And specifically, a lost, a mad party that goes straight into the discard part of red. That's cheeky. That is cheeky. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. As long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent can't pay any Pokemon from their hand to evolve their Pokemon. That's interesting. Again, it's like Eternatus. I could actually put some trouble with them. It's not a very good attacker, though. It's hard to set up, but, you know, could be okay. Hey, it's my boy! I've already traded for them, though, but... Uh... You know, it's all. Can, I'm probably gonna be the first deck I actually play for on the channel. To be honest with you, <laughs> now, actually, Grimstar might not be too bad in the dark box deck because it's free for 200 and it puts the energy back into hand, so you can like reattach them. So I actually think the V is better than the V Max, <laughs> which is funny. How many packs we got left? We've got two packs left, then, so it's like we're not gonna get our turn at this. So I'll have to trade for it the boring way, put this extra stuff up for packs. And then use those packs to get the turn. So I don't open stuff on TJ Joe. Never have, never will. Little rubbish. And that is how we end then. So thanks for watching. It's probably a quick little video. I should have some gameplay update soon. Let me know what you think if I should play post rotation on TC Joe or this weird UPR DAA format. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.